Hi guys, in this lesson we'll be covering page 384 in your math textbook um, on angles, lines, and rays. So number 16 tells us, well at first we look at our problem solving, this is a real world problem, and we're to use the picture of the bridge for answering questions 16 and 17. Number 16 tells us to classify angle A, and that when we classify an angle, it's just to tell whether it's right, acute, or obtuse, and so this, or straight. And in this case, angle A is right here, and we can see this is an, ex they're perpendicular to each other, um, which makes a 90 degree angle. So this is right. Angle A is a right angle. Number 17, which angle appears to be obtuse? Now remember, we're looking at one that, we're looking for an angle that is larger or more open than this one. And it's kind of hard to tell based on size here, but um, we know that it's not A because that's a, right, that's a right angle. B is going to be acute because it is significantly closed off more. And angle C in this one is the one that is going to appear to be obtuse. We use our angle symbol and then a C. Number 18 is a higher order thinking problem and we are to use figure X over here to answer this question. How many different angles are in figure X? <laughs> wow, that's a lot. Okay, so let's think about this. We've got um, how many different angles are there. There's ABD, DBE, EBF, FBC, and those are the easiest ones to spot at first, okay? There are 10. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that there are 10. And so your list is obviously going to start with these first one, two, three, four that we mentioned. So we've got angle ABD, angle DBE, angle EBF. angle F, B, C. Okay? Now, you may think those are the only ones, but we also have angle A, B, E. Angle A, B, C. Angle A, B, F. We also have angle D, B, C. Angle E, B, C. Angle D, B, F. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That may be all of them. Um, I think it is. I think that's it. Okay, sorry about that, guys. All right. So, what's the error? What is the mistake that she made here? Vanessa drew the angle at the right, this one here, and named it angle TRS. Explain why Vanessa's name for the angle is incorrect. Okay, so which one should be the middle letter? In this one, she has R as the middle letter, but it's not the vertex. So 
the letter S should be the middle letter, okay, in the angle's name. So we're going to say the vertex S should be the middle letter. in the angle's name. And if we're going to name this angle, it could be, we could name it angle S, we could name it angle RST, or we could label it angle TSR. That doesn't matter as long as this, vertis, this vertex is the middle letter. And number 20 is test prep. Which of the following terms best describes the figure at the right? We've got an end point here and a line, and it ends with an arrow, so it continues on. It has an end point, but it continues on. Is that a ray, a line segment, a line, or an angle? And if you said ray, you would be correct. A ray has an end point, a definite end point, but it keeps going on. Here's our connection to science. Constellations. Astronomers study the stars and other objects in space. Cephas is a constellation of stars named after an ancient mythological Greek king. Cephas is visible in the northern sky all year long. Trace the constellation, then answer the questions. And so you can see the constellation here, and they've even got it labeled A, B, C, D, E, and F for you. How many line segments are shown in this drawing of Cephas? Cephas. Take a minute and see if you can pause it and take a guess. Count them up and then unpause it, and let's check and see if you were right. If you said six line segments, you are correct. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. How many points are shown in this drawing of Cepheus? There are one, two, three, four, five, six points. Which angles appear to be right angles? Check those out. I would say that angle A and angle E both appear to be right angles as you can see right here, to here, and here, to here. Which angle is an acute angle? And that one would be this one right here at the tip top, which would be angle C. Good job, guys. Um,